Now we are ready to actually create our first FireCAD system layout. If you are not comfortable with using the AutoCAD interface, we recommend that you obtain some basic training. Training is easily available online at no cost on YouTube and in local community colleges if you prefer classroom learning. We will proceed with this lesson explaining the basic functions needed to create your first fire alarm system layout. For this task, we ask that you follow these instructions and enter information as we suggest. Please do not hurry. If you need to pause this video and switch to your FireCAD interface to execute the command or make a selection, please do so. On the FireCAD palette, we will select the Project Tree tab. Next, we will choose the yellow icon on the very left of the icon toolbar. Alternatively, we could choose the Create Project command from the file panel of the FireCAD Tools ribbon. This causes the Project Creation Wizard to appear. The Project Creation Wizard gives us the opportunity to name our project. Any name can be used and is typed in the cell under the project name. This is where you will type the project name. Next, we need to use the Browse button to navigate to the folder in which we wish to place our project files. In this case, we will select within our Documents folder the main folder for FireCAD projects and create a new subfolder specifically related to this project. It is important to keep each project separated from others by creating a unique folder for each project's files. Watch the next few scenes of this video carefully and perform the steps as we are showing you. In this case, we will select within our Documents folder the main folder for FireCAD projects and create a new subfolder specifically related to this project. It is important to keep each project separated from others by creating a unique folder for each project's files. The FireCAD program has been told to create a new project database file and to place it in the Ember Level project folder. You will see and should always verify that the Connect button has already set up a connection to the master template database server named cadgen.database.windows.net. You should not have to make any choices to ensure this happens. It should be automatically populated. The next step in the process is to choose the brands of equipment you wish to use on your project. We have separated the total content of the CAD Gen Master Database into alphabetically organized templates. For this lesson, we will use FileLite equipment. To use FileLite equipment, please check the box next to the template name. It is helpful to always check the generic box as it contains some non-branded components that are useful in most projects. Please also select the System Sensor Template. After selecting all of the templates we wish to include, we click the Create Project button and wait for the program to build the database. The project file area now shows us the path to the .atp file we just created. Each FireCAD project requires the user to include at least two files in the project folder. One is the .adp file that we just created using the Project Creation Wizard. The other is any AutoCAD drawing, typically one that depicts the floor plan background of the building in which we are going to be documenting the fire alarm system. You may use an AutoCAD drawing of your own choosing, or you may use the template drawing that we provided you by email with your program download link and license key. This is the template drawing we provided you. To add the project drawing, make sure you place it in the same folder as the .atp file we just created. If you know how to copy and paste, please do so. Otherwise, use the guidelines shown in the next few scenes.
The command to identify the project drawing is either the third icon from the right on the FireCAD palettes icon bar, or the project drawings command on the edit panel of the FireCAD tools ribbon. When either of these commands are executed, a file explorer window opens, permitting the user to select which will be included in the project. It is possible to include more than one drawing in a FireCAD project, however, this is an advanced usage and will not be explained in this basic training session. After selecting the project, drawing its name appears in the Project Tree section of the FireCAD palette. Because it is possible to have more than one file on your computer with the same name, it is important to open the project, drawing by double-clicking the shortcut which appears on the FireCAD palette. This guarantees that you will be opening the project drawing, and not some other drawing by the same name. Let's explore this drawing, so that we can see what we will be doing in this lesson. This drawing depicts a fictional three-story building. The floor plan of the building is shown in model space. This template has been created to show individual floors of the building in separated layout sheets. We will be placing fire alarm system components on the floor plan in the model space of this drawing. 